In this code sample, I have three files the class student. This notation means that we shall have a table, its name is student, and each object will be represented as a separated row. This notation means that ID would be the primary key, and the table will include two columns, ID and name. And this is the table. Here we have an XML file that defines the exact database we are going to work with. Um, this XML file defines a persistence unit. Its name in this code sample is uh, Mappy. And this is the name we specify here in this code. Here we get an entity manager factory, an object on which we can call the create entity manager and then when we get an entity manager object we can use it for persisting objects we create. Once an object is passed over to the persist method from now on we can change. We can call various methods on that object and everything we do will be reflected in the database itself. Executing this small code is a small demo.